This video is part two for how to reduce the file size of a PDF using the ColorSync utility. And what's really great about this part two is I'm going to explain how the filters that you've set up in the ColorSync utility can help you to change the size of different uh, items very, very quickly. Now, I'm going to go back into ColorSync utility here and I'm going to show you that in addition to the reduce file size copy that I set up in the previous video, which here is making the resolutions 100 pixels per inch, I also set up two others and I named them. Uh, this one is going to make the image 300 pixels per inch at a medium quality and so I call it 300 medium. And the other filter I set up, the only thing it's going to do is scale the image or the item by 50% and with these maximum uh, resolutions. Actually, I'm going to get rid of these maximum, res maximum number of pixels here. And it's going to retain the high quality here. So those are the two other filters that I've added in. So you can see that there I have three reduced file size copies uh, that I'm working with. So I'm going to go ahead and quit this. Now on my desktop I have a PDF that I created for this and I'm going to go ahead and open it in preview. Now it's important that you do open this in preview. Um, this is just a bunch of scanned documents uh, that I'm using to make my point. Now uh, it's actually my son's homework <laughs> uh, learning Korean. So is all you have to do is very simple. You open whatever it is in preview. It can be a PDF file or it can be an and some type of image and you just do the file save as and when you save as here notice you have this quartz filter and if I click on this I have all my different options here so I can go ahead and go in uh, for example I'm gonna reduce the file size um, to 300 medium and I'm gonna call it fishbowl scan doc 300 so I remember what it was I'm gonna leave it on my desktop here I'm going to save it, and there you have it. Uh, if I take a look at notice um, that my fishbowl, my original fishbowl scan document was 19.7 megabytes. My new one at 300 is 10.2. Uh, you can make as many different kind of filters as you'd like on this, and um, you know, be creative. Uh, use those as quick shortcuts for changing document sizes that of anything you need.